Well, welcome to day three. I'm Pastor Chris, and it's a pleasure to be with you guys here today. As we've been saying since day one, you're supposed to have uh, chosen a nation that you're adopting, that you're going to be praying for. The nation that I've chosen is Cambodia. Um, we have some missionaries that we support as a church over there, and so it's on my heart. They were the ones that came to my mind when I first heard this challenge, and so I decided to select them. Today, we're going to pray for the local pastors and evangelists in the nation of Cambodia, for me and for you, for your nation. Uh, we're going to uh, pray renewed strength, uh, fresh anointing, uh, and a renewed power of the Holy Spirit for all of those ministers that are over there doing God's work. And then also the third thing we're going to pray for is we're going to pray uh, calling in the volunteers in great numbers. Today, the two uh, focus of our scriptures are going to be 1 Peter 5, 6, which says, Humble yourself, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. Humble yourself. We are humbling ourselves before him as we come to him in prayer on behalf of these uh, men and women who are doing his work, humbling themselves in those nations. Ephesians 6, uh, 18 through 20 says, And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Pray also for me, that whenever I speak, words may be given me so that I will fearlessly make known the majesty of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare it fiercely as I should. We're going to pray that today for those that are out in the field uh, uh, doing the Lord's work. And uh, in, in, for me in Cambodia, you and your nation. So if you'll join me in prayer, I believe you have it in front of you. If you don't, you can check it out on our website. But you should be able to have the prayer in front of you and uh, you can follow along with us. So let's pray. Father, we lift up the people of Cambodia. We pray that the leaders of this nation will be receptive to your message and calling. We ask by your mighty hand that all pastors, missionaries, and evangelists of that nation be strengthened for the work you have called them to. We ask for a new gener regeneration of their strength to happen and for them to be able to live out their high calling with courage and strength as they minister to others there. We pray that a spark of freshness and enthusiasm would come over them and also that a fresh new anointing be upon them Stir up the power of your Holy Spirit in each one of them. Give them divine vision, insight, and the ability to translate your plans and purposes to their congregations and the fellow laborers. Wherever they find themselves, I pray that you be magnified, Lord, in all things in Cambodia. Lord, from the mountains and valleys, the deserts and forests, and in every individual, young and old, Lord God, I pray that you'd send helpers, volunteers from every corner of the nation to realize they are needed to help the work of the church throughout the land. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, our action point for today is that uh, as the burden for your chosen nation increases, consider how the Lord might use you in some area of support for that nation. I mentioned earlier uh, about the missionaries that we support as a church. If above and beyond your, your tithes, you want to offer uh, something to this uh, missionary in Cambodia or some of the other ones that we uh, partner with, you're free to do that financially. Maybe it's a prayer burden that God puts on you where you're constantly praying for them, lifting them up by name. Uh, I'm not going to say the name online here because I don't want to put them at risk, but if you'd like to partner with me in prayer for Cambodia, reach out to me and email me, chris at thecause.cc, and I will be happy to uh, respond to you with the name specifically of our missionaries we support over there. Or any other variable, maybe you have the calling to go and actually visit the nation. <laughs> God bless you, and we will pray for you and send you in that. Whatever God speaks to you, pray and ask that he would fulfill his vision in your life, in your missionary focus.